Good morning, I'm Carson Jeffries with The Mold Firm, and I'm here today with a longtime friend and owner of Air Allergen Mold Testing. My name is Richard Johnson, I'm the President and CEO of Air Allergen and Mold Testing. As I mentioned before, we can imply some things about pest control, for instance, that might be in there. Um, we can learn um, if there's likely to be some chemical pollution in the uh, indoor environment. In some cases, we can read that into it. If we know that, let's say there, we know that there's visible mold and you have a real low airborne count, what you know is it's being suppressed for some reason. Uh, we can tell something from the symptoms that the people say is whether or not there can be. And what uh, do you mean suppressed, Richard? I mean that um, they may be growing and they may be causing the chemicals uh, to be done and, they, um, and the uh, toxins and that kind of stuff to be contained, but they may not be sporiating at the particular time that, uh, that we're there because that growth pattern is being suppressed um, on, the, on the mold. So you can have a hazardous health concern, but it won't show up in the air sample. So you're saying that different conditions may change the spore profile in a residence at any given time? Yes, yeah, it's a snapshot in time. It can vary from hour to hour and day to day. That's why a more complete analysis, including the carpet dust analysis, is really important when you're trying to do an investigation and fill out the entire picture of what might be going on.